Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly. And today, as you guys can probably tell from the thumbnail and the fact that I am just like super pumped, we're doing another sponsored video. I am so excited for this one, guys. I got to team up with Netflix, so thank you so much, Netflix, for sending me this game to play the new Stranger Things 3, the game. It's for season three, it's the companion piece to the current Netflix season that's up recently, which by the way, guys, if you haven't watched, it's fantastic. I love Stranger Things. It's why I have the shirt of 11. It actually says the upside down on it. It's just, I, I love the shirt, but I love Stranger Things. Anyone who's been in the community for a while knows that. So when Netflix reached out and wanted to work with me, I was thrilled. I was absolutely blown away. But anyway, so this is the companion piece game, Stranger Things 3 the game and uh you guys can see here it's got some really nice stylistic aesthetic going on already it's it's got like sort of like the the music's going on here the nice 80s tunes like style tunes and then we got these characters here of mike and i'm assuming this is mike and 11 but uh yeah it's like a retro style action adventure game i'm i'm done talking about it i'm freaking out already guys just in my head i'm so excited to play this all right so we get to start a new game start with two characters in the default mode now uh netflix has mentioned that this is a multiplayer game and they actually advise that you play it with someone else whether it's a friend a sibling whoever i don't have any friends and it's like 2 30 in the morning so i'm not going to call any of them up to play this so we're gonna do single player player mode um play through and play for just the story and not die very often standard for a balanced experience or master i don't think i'm a master let's go with the balanced standard experience that's the way that i normally do it in the autumn 1984 hawkins lab up oh, there's something it's some backstory there i'm so excited oh man this is just like the start of the new season obviously i should mention lots of spoilers in this for those of you who haven't seen it and it's stranger things so there's gonna be flashing just like there that we saw. Comrade Lieutenant, we are close. I love the pixelated art style. It reminds me of like arcade titles I played growing up. You can see our progress. We just need more. Oh no, he just got punched so hard by that dude. You have one year. Gulp. <laughs> oh man, this is so great. This is so, so good. This is exactly like the show, just like a lot shorter, um, obviously. <laughs> oh, and here we are. We're at Starcourt Mall. Hey, it's Lucas, Hawkins, Indiana, one year later. And then I, oh, I'm Mike, I, what, I have a baseball bat? That's kind of badass. You're late, again. Let me guess, you were busy making out with Eleven, weren't you? Oh yeah, so for those of you guys who've been watching Stranger Things, obviously that romantic tension that was between Mike and Eleven throughout the seasons, it's coming to a head. It's here mentioned in the game. Oh, I get to actually choose dialogue as well. Man, this game's already doing everything that I like love in a game. I get to choose dialogue. Uh, I'm guessing I get to use that baseball bat, which is gonna be pretty badass. Real mature, you're just jealous. I'm gonna say, real mature, dude. Anyway, let's get going. We don't wanna miss the opening. Oh yeah, opening to what? Okay, oh, okay. All right, so, uh, we can make, oh, okay, so we can make Lucas stay. We can make him, we can swap. <gasps> we can swap between the two of them? Oh, that's so cool, I love that. I love that it's like a little energy ball. The theater is the other way. Okay, and then we can, we have no energy to taunt with. We have no energy to throw a bomb. Oh, we can block with a big old bubble. Oh, and we get stunned if we hold it too long. We can swing. All right, I gotta see what Lucas's slingshot does because that's what it looks like we got here oh yeah oh oh my god we just destroyed a bunch of crap so we got to go see the movie we're just we're just breaking everything in the mall this is fine though <laughs> this is kind of awesome oh my god so it is it's so much like uh old retro arcade beat-em-up game oh this is so cool oh my god we're hooligans in this i don't remember this in the show <laughs> can i not go down the escalator that's fine i guess i'll follow the big the big old uh, things. Ooh, Kaufman shoes. That's a reference to the show as well. 
Dude, the line to the movie is all the way out the door. We're going to miss the showing at this rate. What are we supposed to do? Let's wait in line patiently or let's pull the fire alarm. Oh, we got to create like some diversion. That's what we got to do. Shut down the whole mall? How about we just go in the usual way? Let's go find Steve downstairs. Oh, yeah. We're going to go see Steve, our boy, our dude. Steve is one of my favorite characters in the show. Starcart Mall is always busy. Oh, yeah, like totally. Get in line, pal. Listen, I'm a child, like, maliciously swinging around like a, a baseball bat. You don't want to talk crap to me right now, man. I'm dangerous. <laughs> this is great. I love this. This music is pretty outdated. <laughs> Those Lynx Corp guys seem awfully rough for delivery men. They sure do, lady. <laughs> She's not concerned at all that I'm like, I just bashed a cheeseburger with a baseball bat. I mean, <laughs> what else would you do, though, with a burger and a baseball bat besides destroy it? <laughs> Gotta go to Scoops Ahoy, though. Go see our main man, Steve. Oh, man, Steve's so good. Such a good character. Hello, Robin. Gone back. Hey, Dingus, your children are... <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. Oh, my God. This is so wonderful. This is so great. Erica's in it. Why are you nerds in such a rush? Is a new toy on sale? Isn't it your bedtime? Isn't it time you shut up? Oh man, her her line in the show is so much funnier. Where he's like, he, he's like, isn't it your bedtime? And she's like, isn't it time you die? <laughs> hey Steve, do you mind letting us into the corridors through the back? Sorry you two, no can do. Why not Steve? I thought we were friends, Steve. We are, but I lost the keys to the mall corridors. I need them to open the door. Give me a hand and look around. My keys must be here somewhere. Oh man, Steve, you messed up. You done messed up, man. I need these coins. This coinage I've dropped on the ground. I'm bashing over like other people's bags and boxes and oh my God, this is so destructive. I love it. Oh wait, the keys, we found it. I didn't realize this was the corridor that he was talking about, but apparently that's all we needed to do was just maliciously destroy all of the mall property we could. And then we get, this is how you get rich in real life, guys. You just smash shit, and then you get, <laughs> you require someone tiny. Oh, who could that be? Erica, perhaps? <laughs> I always hated that chair. Ugh, yeah. Oh my God, this game should not have given me the ability to do this. Cause now I'm just gonna run around bashing literally everything. Anyway, Steve, hey, what's up, man? Have you found my keys? Here you go, dude. Great, let me get the door. And don't forget, this is our little secret. Steve, I would never rat you out, man. You're a homie. You got it. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, thanks, Steve. See you guys later. I'm gonna go to the movie. I mean, at this rate, we're gonna be really late. You know, over to the right? Okay. Well, let's go. Ooh, it's so dark. Why is it so dark in here? Hey, I just said the same thing, Lucas. The power is off. The elevator won't work. Let's look around. Gotta be a way to turn it back on. Oh, man. I don't remember this in the show. I don't remember this specific thing. This button requires power to operate. Oh. All right. Let's go solve some mysteries. It's a very leaky ceiling. I see a guy up there. Maybe you can help us. Uh, where? Here? Uh, mall key card level one. Oh, that guy. Hi. You look semi sinister. Maybe way too friendly to see two kids wielding weapons standing in the back hallways. Should you children be here? We can't leave. The elevator has no power. Breaker is off. Many circuits turned off for next few hours. Oh, Ivan. He's he's a Russian. Hours, but we'll miss the movie. Dude, I think we're already missing it at this point. Can you help us or I guess we'll die down here? All right, listen, it's very much in Mike's character. Finn Wolfhart's a fantastic actor, but it's very much in his character to say something like, I guess we'll die down here. So I'm gonna say that. Don't pop children. You help Ivan, Ivan help you. Storage rooms filled with rats. You take care of rats. I give you key to maintenance room. Uh, you got a deal? Yeah, all right, man. That's the spirit come back when all rats are dead. Ooh, the rats like like in the show they get all like crazy and explodey. Ooh, I can move the camera around too to see what the next room is like. All right, but oh my god, I feel a little bit bad about it. I won't lie. Who would ever eat here smells like stroganoff in the microwave? Oh, Lucas helps out too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, I, I do feel <laughs> horrible, but I mean, I don't feel as horrible as watching those rats in the show when they turn like inside out. Oh my god, it's so gross. It's nothing but borscht. 
That that doesn't sound like the worst thing, man. Oh my god. At least there is some food in there. Okay. But that's also some foreshadowing about all the Russians that work here at the mall. These rats don't seem super deadly. I'm just... I, I love that this guy is like, Oh, we got a rat problem. Go, like, slaughter them with, <laughs> with your baseball bat and slingshot. And this full-grown man just expects us to do that. Looks connected to this pad on the right. I don't think we can open this now. All right, all right. No fun. By the way, guys, you can get this game over on Steam as well as the Unmas launcher, which is a launcher I didn't know anything about, but it's apparently it's a it's a game platform launcher that you can check out. It requires bolt cutters. Oh man, where are we gonna get some of those? Oh, did we just clear out all the rats? This guy's got a new quest for us. I like this. I like the way that this game is set up. But this game is uh, twenty dollars. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you'd like to check this game out. It's really, really fun so far. Like I said, retro arcade style beat 'em up action adventure game. It's like so much like the games I grew up on that I'm getting that nostalgia feel, which is perfect because obviously this being set in like the '80s, it's like I grew up playing arcade games in like the '90s and so many different arcades, and I, I'm getting that retro vibe, that retro feel from the gameplay, the style of the game, and then also just the overall aesthetic of the show that's been put into the game. This is great so far. I love it. Have you killed the rats? I will give key when job is done. Oh, it's done, dude. It's done. I need a shower. Yeah, I probably got rat guts all over me. It's disgusting. Good work. Here is key as promised. Be careful, children. Other workers much less friendly than Ivan. Okay. Well, that's fine. So we got the key card. Wait. Oh, we got to go over to this one. That's right. The one we saw before. It's a very convoluted way to get in the movie. I feel like at this point, we have wasted so much time that there's no way that we're making this movie. Swap characters. Okay, I figured out how to do this already. Oh, okay. So, um, Lucas, you stay there. Yeah, waiting. Waiting indeed. Ooh, picked up a med kit. Dope. All right, now uh, follow me, Lucas. Come here. And I stood on the button for you. And now you... You don't... I don't think you actually have to stand on that button anymore because we have... Yeah. Oh, wait. We can't get through there without bolt cutters. Okay, so you do stay there. You wait. And now I step here for you. You follow. Okay, so there's puzzle stuff in this. I mean, what kind of adventure game would it be without some puzzles? I mean, these aren't in the show, but it's uh, it's good stuff. Got to figure out how to open this. What the heck? Power the elevator. Did I not hit the power? Did I do it wrong? I must have done it wrong. I must have had to do something else. I slap this again. Ah, there we go. I had to turn it off and then on again. Ah, I see. We were, were like resetting the circuit. All right, man. Come on. Follow me again, Lucas. I need your slingshot, your ranged attack. This is so cool. All right. Got to figure out how to open it. Oh, just with the button. That's easy. Heck yeah. Now, I wonder if you like get new skills as the game goes on or anything like that. Obviously, I just got to keep playing it. Wait, up ahead, let that guy pass, then hit the button on the far wall. Uh, you got it. Oh, it's another maintenance dude. Except this is the mean one, he's got the mean face. Okay, so I gotta wait until he goes in there, and then I gotta run past him, hit the button, get him. And maybe he's like, what the, Ivan, was that you? I'm assuming he's like too strong for me. Gotta figure out how to open it. No, 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 we don't. We don't go in that one. So we can't get into that key padded room either. Okay, so some of the enemies you have to avoid with stealth. Oh, and there's more rats down here. Dang, dude. There's so many things that want to hurt me and kill me. <laughs> Just like the show, though. I mean, we haven't had to run into demigorgons yet. There's a note here. Want to test a hypothesis? Study the two largest posters. I guess we have to stand on two plates at the same time. Okay, sure. Oh, I get it. Okay, so that poster is pretty big. And then that's a small poster. And then that's a big one. So I want to, I want to switch guys. I want to uh, swap, and then boom! Oh, easy, nice. Okay, I like the puzzle system in this. This is really simplistic, even though again, I don't remember this in the show. But that's okay. That's why it's a companion piece. This is all the the behind the scenes stuff that you don't get to see in the show. <laughs> we need to find a way to turn the power back on to get through the door up ahead. We're not missing that movie. There must be more breakers around here. There's gotta be. Let's find them. Ooh. They're guarded by evil rats, apparently. Beat them all up. Ooh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> People are just like gonna go back there, try to find like their stuff they left in the locker and have just like beaten the crap out of everything. There's no way. <laughs> oh! Oh, that rat! He attacked me. I didn't realize. Is this thing powering the theater? Oh yeah. We don't wanna we want, don't wanna get rid of that because then we won't even be able to watch the movie. That'd be horrible. Okay, so uh, another henchman, man. That guy, okay, this guy. Let's see if we can shoot him. The Lucas is, oh, nope, gotta aim. Oh my God, M Mike, you're a madman, dude. Mike, be careful. Oh my God, we just killed that man. We committed murder. We committed real murder in this game. Holy crap. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> Ranged attacks are pretty dope too. Holy cow, I don't know who I like to play as more. I want to play as Mike because he's one of my favorites. Except, oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, there's a lot of blood here. What's going on? Demigorgon time? Do we have to battle one of them? Oh, more rats. Oh my gosh. So many rats. They're sort of just minding their own business and we're just coming in here and murdering everything. That, that dude literally was just doing his job. Now granted, those of you who have watched the show like I have, you know that those guys are not so innocent. But, uh, murder? Uh, before we know that, as characters? Not so good. What's going on here? Whoa! Hey, what's up, man? Be careful! One of our pasta sauce containers had a leak. Oh, it's pasta sauce! <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, there's money in the oven? Who's baking money? Who's baking all this money? I'm getting so rich, though. Very good. So some cleaning going on. Yep, I see that. Well, might as well break everything I see and raid every refrigerator. Just leave them all open too, so you know, all the stuff stays <laughs> nice and bad. <laughs> this is incredible, I really like this. Okay, we got all the money, we beat up a bunch of crap that we didn't really need to beat up. We opened the door, we killed the man, <laughs> we <laughs> committed real murder, uh, and here we go. Back to Starcourt Mall. And the cinemas. Oh no, and of course there's a power outage though. Man, oh man. Who turned out the lights? It's a blackout dingus. <laughs> Robin's so good too, she's great. <laughs> oh, everything's going out. Everything in Hawkins is going out. Oh, that was like the end of that little segment. Man, that blackout almost made us miss the movie. What should we do with the rest of our summer? Oh, I guess we saw it already. That was a short movie. Let's head back to my house. Will wanted to meet in the basement. Sure, let's go. Chapter one, Susie, do you copy? Oh yeah, getting in touch with Susie. Heck yeah, this is awesome. I really like this a lot. The dial tone hums. Sure does. Oh, hi, there's Will. Okay, we can talk to Will. We can, ooh, recipe. You can craft stuff in this game? Oh my god, guys, this game is actually so awesome. You can get so many people to join your party. There's quests, the map. So you can craft new items to like fight enemies. Who left the TV playing music videos? <laughs> Back when MTV showed actual music videos. Picture the gang at Halloween two years ago. Ah, oh, it's probably their Ghostbusters outfits. What's in here? Oh, we can like explore the whole, whole uh, place. Let's talk to Will first. Let's. It's nasty in there. It is. A little gnome. You found a gnome. Someone in Hawkins is looking for for all 50 of them. That's so many. View them on the items page in your journal. Okay, sure. I'm very happy about it. The old Dungeons and Dragons table. Good memories. Yeah, very, very good memories. Okay, so I can... Wait, what was it that I had to check again? The workbench. And then I can check the gnomes here. I don't know where I can check the gnomes, but that's okay. Gnomes, we gotta find 50. Hello, Will. Hey, you're back. I lost track of you at the movie. We got delayed making our way inside. What should we do now? How about Dungeons and Dragons? Not now. I wanna talk, take Eleven on a date, but I need money first. Well, dude, we, we got a lot of money out of like random ovens and stuff, so we're set. A whole buck 80 right now. <laughs> Maybe Mrs. Wheeler has got some work to do. You can find her at the Hawkins pool. Thanks, Will, for the hookup. I also need to welcome Dustin home. He gets back from camp nowhere today. Then we can play D&D, &D, right? 
Later, Will. First, meet us at Dustin's house for the party. Man, I hated that part of the show. Is like when they, it, it makes sense because it happened to like my friend's group too growing up. You know, like one kid gets like a girlfriend and then he starts neglecting all of his buddies. It's just like a rite of passage as you grow up. But like watching Will go through that and be so sad that his friends weren't there for him. That is such a bummer. You now have multiple quests. Open the journal with that button. Check your progress in the quest tab. Heck yeah, okay. So I can open, oh, you can surprise Dustin at his house. Ooh, we could go surprise Dustin at his house. Let's go surprise Dustin at his house. I wanna do that. So that's our little home base. Hawkins Pool is just up the street. Okay, and that marks where the quests are, as we figured out before, obviously. Oh my God, you can like roam the whole neighborhood? Oh, <laughs> you can just hit the bush hard enough that all <laughs> All of the leaves fall off. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. Nobody's home right now. Well, I hope they didn't enjoy their shrubbery because it's dead now. It's actually been destroyed. Oh, this is so good. So fun. All right, well, let's go find Dustin, our boy, our man. Dustin's also great. I hope this is his house. Dustin's house, yeah, we found it. Hey, what's up, Max? I'm lucky that Billy's been busy all summer. It means he's been ignoring me. Yeah, Billy's kind of a douche. Dustin won't suspect a thing, and becomes a bigger douche as the show goes on. Hey, what's up, Eleven? Hi, Mike. Ready to welcome Dustin home? Oh, hell yeah, let's do it. But before I do that, you guys, if you want to see what happens next in the game, which you can probably guess if you've already seen the show, but if you want to see what happens next in the game, you're going to have to get this game yourself. Like I said, I'm going to leave some links down below in the description. This game is so fun. It really does follow the plot of the season almost to a T. Uh, there's obviously a little bit of extra rat and maintenance men killing, but it's fun. Like I said, it really harkens back to those old school retro games that I grew up playing in the arcades and on home consoles where you're just running around, you're beating up stuff, you're finding items and you're trying to like just do all these little quests and things. I love it. It's really, really good. The aesthetic is great. I love the art style of uh, the characters and the environments. The music really brings it home because it sounds just like the show but fun stuff again thank you so much to netflix for sponsoring this video and sending me this game super cool of them to do that hopefully you guys had an enjoyable time checking this out as well especially if you guys are as big of stranger things fans as i am then i feel like you guys are gonna love this this is really fun this is something that i'll definitely be doing more of over on twitch uh doing some live streams of it and everything like that because this is the type of game that i can really get lost in and have a lot of fun with but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this video Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Derp,